Hi, this is Aiden, and this is part two of implementing authorized calls in my ng2 repo on GitHub. The link is in the description. So in part one, we integrate the auth0 lock module, and we got a good looking sign in and sign up dialog that looks good on all devices within 10 minutes, which was pretty awesome. So if you haven't done so already, make sure to check out part one. The link's gonna be in the description. And in this part, we'll implement the backend using Node and Express.js. So let's get right to it. Let's take a sneak peek at what we'll have when we are done with part two. We'll have a backend running on port 3001 with cores enabled, since our frontend will run on port 3000, which is the command prompt to the right. In the app, let's sign in. I will sign in using the off zero lock module that we implemented in part one. And once we're in, we can navigate to our profile page, which can only be activated when we are signed in. Now we've done a secure HTTP request using RxJS to fetch a Chuck Norris quote from a secured endpoint on our backend. And our backend is super easy. We only have one endpoint defined, which is the endpoint to fetch quotes from. And bear in mind, this is the first time I'm using Express.js. I'm not claiming to be an expert in any way. I've only spent a couple of minutes reading the docs and setting it up, which was super easy. So let's break this down into bits and pieces and learn how to go about to achieve this. Let's start by setting up our Express.js backend. We're gonna install three separate NPM packages for that. We're gonna get Express.js itself, along with Express.jvt, which will allow us to secure endpoints that will require a JVT to be accessed. And we're also gonna get a third package called Chorus. Since our frontend and backend will be hosted on separate uh, ports, we're gonna need to enable Chorus to be able to make calls between different origins. And let's save our package.json file. Now that we have that set up for us, let's switch to the code and create our backend. And we can see that our package.json file got updated with three new packages. Course, Express, and Express JVT. So let's create a new folder and call it server. I'm gonna be typing this in plain JavaScript. So let's create just app.js. And we'll start off by simply requiring Express along with Express JVT. And let's also not forget course. And to host a server is super easy. We just create an app. And if we want to use course, we'll just tell the app that we want to use cores. And there are a bunch of options that we can pass into these, but we are good with the default configuration. And if you need to do more, the docs are really rich and contains a lot of examples. And to start the server, we can just go ahead and type app.listen and then pass in a port. And then we'll pass in a callback function, which will be called when the server is up and running. So this is the basics. This is all we need to do to get an Express.js server up and running, which is quite minimal. And let's start off by not securing the endpoint. We'll just define a, a public endpoint that anyone can call and we'll return a random quote. So we'll define an endpoint slash API slash quote, which will give us a random Chuck Norris quote. And let's store our quotes in a separate file. Let's call that quotes.json. And we'll just drop in a couple of Chuck Norris quotes. And now we can go ahead and require this at the top and then just get a random index and return that quote as a JSON result. So let's try this out and see if it works. So let's we'll switch back to a command. And now let's switch to the server folder and fire up our server and it says that the backend is listening so we got our success call back and let's try to browse that endpoint and see if we get a random quote and it seems to work so if we refresh this we get a different quote every time so let's see what we need to do to secure this endpoint so we can't make a call unless we have a valid JVT token let's start by defining a separate file that will contain our off zero settings 
and this will simply contain an object containing the secret for our app and the audience. And the audience is the client ID from the dashboard and the secret is the secret. So if you open up the dashboard, we can see we have a couple of signups. Uh, there's people watching my part one course and they've actually managed to sign in, which is pretty cool. And if we come to apps and select our app, we have the client ID right here and the client secret here. So let's just copy paste these in into our off zero settings file and use it in our app.js. So now we can go ahead and require our settings from our file. And we're gonna define something called JVT check and pass in the secret and the audience from our off zero settings file. And by simply defining this, this object, which is imported from the Express JVT module, we can secure our API by simply going ahead and type app.use and then passing in the URL to our endpoint and then pass in the JVT check. So if you save this and we'll need to restart our server, if you take a look in the browser now, we shouldn't be able to get the data. So we get that no authorization token was found and we'll probably have a stack trace in the console, which we can see right there. So now we're gonna need to be authorized to get that data. So let's switch to our Angular 2 app and implement the front end parts. So let's switch over to the boot.ts file and wire up Angular 2 JVT to make authorized calls. So first, let's just import HTTP providers from the Angular 2 HTTP barrel and pass that in into our dependencies array. Then we're gonna import two things, off HTTP and off config. With the off HTTP class, we use off HTTP.get instead of the regular HTTP.get. The response will still be observable and can be subscribed to. So we're not going to make any calls from boot.ts, but we are going to bootstrap the application by providing off HTTP uh, to use a factory as well. And to do so, we're going to need to import provide from the core barrel and then create a factory to just new up a new off config. And this is useful for when we want to supply our own configuration for the class. The class has the following default. It will ha have a header name that has authorization and a header prefix that is barrier and a token name ID token. And we can overwrite any of these with anything we want. To do so, we just pass a config object when the class is instantiated instead. And that would look something like this instead. But we're just gonna go with the defaults. So the default configuration has a default to fetch the JVT token in the following manner. And an error will be thrown by default if there is no JVT saved. But fortunately, we are saving our JVT in, in exactly this manner. So we can go with the defaults. Off HTTP, save this. And that's all we need to do in boot.ts. Now we can go ahead and find our profile.ts and import the off HTTP class from Angular to JVT and resolve it into our constructor. And let's define a method on our components called getChuckQuote, which will call from the constructor. And keep in mind here that we can't activate this component unless we have a valid token. And instead of logging the profile, we're gonna go ahead and get the chuck quote. And as I mentioned earlier, we will get an RxJS observable when using the off HTTP class, just in the same way as we would by using the normal HTTP class. So what we can do here is we can subscribe for the result and then we'll have a success method. We can define the error function as well. We'll just log the error and then we can log that the call was completed. So now we can define a field here. Let's call it quote, it will be a string and we'll just set the quote by calling JSON on the data. And we know that we are returning JSON since we just implemented the server. Let's also not forget to actually try to print out the quote so we can see it on the screen. 
we're just gonna have a header chuck quote of the day and then print out the quote now let's switch back and try this again we log in and when we hit the profile page we've successfully fetched a quote from a secure endpoint using the JVD token that was issued from off zero so that's pretty cool so now you've seen how to hook up the front end and the back end to make authorized calls with Angular 2. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, have a nice day.